afternoon, dear family, Facebook family, haven't seen each other in a while, and it's wild, what a wild weather here in Wash Palm Beach, 77 degrees, we are really enjoying this weather, February, this is wild, that's what I think about this weather. I know, you know, summer is coming and it's gonna be like we're gonna be cooked in the summer. Uh, but I, I guess we can uh, we can suffer along, suffer long with this weather. And uh, even when it's so hot. So greetings to you from this wonderful place those who are crazy about happy valentines valentines happy valentines to you if you are celebrating that and Just an update if you are, you know, maybe, maybe praying for a Slavic congregation. We are no longer have a place together. Uh, thankful, thankful for Pastor Jeff's uh, and the church, Greater Grace Church in West Palm Beach, that they were homing us. The, the Slavic Church, Grace Slavic Church, was under the wing for some time, and so this this will be a good good challenge for this this uh, congregation to see how it's going to go forward. So you can be, if you can, just be praying for that. Also now every Sunday, almost every Sunday, I am also an interim preacher at uh, what is called Sharon Christian Church, which is located here in West Palm. And you can also be praying for this wonderful body of believers. There is a handful, maybe 12, 15 believers who, who lost their, their uh, senior pastor a year ago. <laughs> they were there was an interim preacher from uh, Palm Beach Atlantic University. And he was for a year uh, helping this church and uh, preaching there every week. So one of those weeks when he was preaching, I was I filled in, and the church Sharon Christian Church has invited me to become their Sunday morning preacher. So this is what I do. Uh, three weeks out of four every month now I'll be preaching at the Sharon Christian Church and if you're in the area you're welcome to come Sharon Christian Church every Sunday morning except one Sunday I'm not there uh, at 11 10 45 I'm sharing the Word of God and we are you know got some fellowship so I continue my uh, continuing my education at PBA Palm Beach Atlantic University with some specific concentration in chaplaincy and we are learning a lot uh, different topics right now it's fundraising financing and governance uh, very good very practical wonderful course on how to 
you know, help the nonprofit organization how to do a nonprofit organization and uh, and uh, you know, all the secrets about this. So this is what we are up to in the, in the previous uh, months, January, February. So as far as uh, maybe a thought, uh, maybe a some provoking thought, uh, I share that the Sharon Christian Church, the topic of change, you know, it's like sometimes I think, you know, we even maybe not even aware how we're praying and asking some things from God, like we're praying, God, change, change me. Oh God, change this person, change the heart of this individual. Etc. Etc. Et like things like that. Prayers, prayers of change. And I mean, these these prayers quite often, you know, sound very genuine and sincere. Uh, but to be, you know, frank, these these prayers and just the concept of, uh, I don't think we really understand what we are asking. Uh, and if you ever ask the Lord, change my heart, O oh Lord, you are probably, most of this is going to go unanswered. Because why? how is that that God is changing an individual? How does this happen? One, uh, you know, biblical way when you know when when somebody that like we there is a word in the Bible repent the change the metanoia the change of someone's mind the course of their mind the thought that their thought pattern is changed <laughs> this is I think the closest when we can when we can we, we, we see the concept of change and the other one is second uh, Corinthians 3 18 we are changed from glory to glory <coughs> as we behold the glory of God. We are changed into the same, in the image, uh, we're changed from glory to glory. And also, uh, Romans 12, 1, 2, uh, be ye transformed, metamorpho, metamorpho, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. So here like we have this, passages and the the word repentance the change the transformation metamorpho me metanoia and how does that happen paul is really saying be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind the the change essentially is not like not a switch it's like God does not change a person through a switch. It's like you turn on the light and turn off the light. <coughs> I don't I don't think this is how God is working. Have you ever tried to change you know, another individual? You the person you're trying to change. I mean let's say just you know you wanna make person to quit smoking. This is a this is an interesting uh, idea. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried to stop smoking? Have you ever smoked? Or have you been involved in some kind of uh, something you know was going on in your life and you were struggling with some sin? Do you think like you, you just can change overnight? And it's like you just you just need to be aware. The change is not a switch. It's not something like just changes just like by clicking something. Paul is writing and he's saying that in the second Corinthians three eighteen and Romans twelve one and two, he's speaking about that we are beholding the glory of God. So we have a revelation of God's own glorious character and then our mind is renewed. Be renewed by the, uh, be transformed by the renewal of, my, of your mind, so you might know 
what is the will of what is the will of God good perfect and acceptable so you you can you and I can know the will of God and yet still not be able to change <coughs> because what I need I need a renewal of my mind and that renewal is that relationship when the Lord is when I am in the fellowship an intimate fellowship with God when I'm still and I and, and I'm listening to him I am abiding in him and in that relationship he I I get a glimpse of his glory and I am I consent to him I consent to his presence I consent I consent to his will it's like he's not breaking my will he's not like pulling me to the ground and forcing me to change he is calling me and he's showing you and I what needs to be changed but the decision to change this is what I believe is someone who the decision to change you make the decision you respond God is not changing you like this is this is just against his nature God is not changing people like that God is interested to have people in a relationship with him and through a relationship with him they make a choice because of of love for him like you make a choice and so i i think the one powerful example of that is the prodigal son when remember when the guy was you know asked his father he demanded that he would give you know father would give him his portion of uh, inheritance the father did not try to change him he allowed his son to do to have his way even to his own hurt the father basically like it was so damaging for the father to do it but he still did it he let his son go he just probably could have just you know chased him away and just said just leave him with nothing and disowned him but he gave him the inheritance and he let him be there waste everything and it says one verse which it says then the son came to his senses he consented and after that he made a decision to go back to the father and this is where the change has happened the boy has made a decision and he went back this was the beginning of his of of the of the change in his heart and you know when 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 you know that the person is making a decision this is going to happen nobody else like making them making them do that even not god god is revealing things he is renewing you know our mind but he is not making us do things this is just you know against uh his nature and our nature because we're not going to change that way so so this is very short uh brief brief message of how god is changing he's changing us really we are, we are not we are being transformed through a relationship with him this is how he does it thank you father and i'm looking forward to what you are going to do and can do in anybody's life in my life and in your lives through if you if you really want to know his heart and know his mind and his word you will you know god will do the transformation all right have a great day and happy valentines